What's this guide by a challenger player to get better at Chen? If light travels so fast, how come it's never caught a ninja? Let's start by looking at your runes of choice. On Chen, you generally want to have Grasp of the Undying, Shield Bass, Bone Plating or Second Wind, and then you want to have Overgrowth, Revitalize, or Unflinching, depending on what you're against. If you're against Heavy CC, you go Unflinching. If you're against Heavy Poke, you go for Revitalize. And if you're against Normal Champions, you just go Overgrowth. In the second tree, you generally tend to go Triumph and Coup de Grace. You could also opt in for going Tenacity instead of one of the other two, depending on what you're against. Again, against Heavy CC, you want the Tenacity, and against non-Heavy CC, you just go for the other two. Now for the small runes, generally you go adaptive force in the first two ones, and then you go either health, armor, or magic resist, depending on what you're against. If you're against mixed damage from jungle and top, you go the health. If you're against 80 and 80, you go for the armor. And if you're against a magic top, you might go for magic resist. Shen's item build. First, you start off with a Dawn Shield and a potion. After that, you work towards getting your Titanic Hydra. Some people go Tiamat first. I opt in for going Joram's Fist first. But it doesn't matter too much. I value health a lot though on Shen because it scales really well with him. After getting Titanic Hydra, you have two options. You go Adaptive Helm or you go for Rain's Omen. After getting those two core items, the other items you can get is Bramble's Vest. You might get it early if you're against other people that heal a lot. For example, you could be against Aatrox or other champions similar to him. And the other two items you can go for depending on what you're against is Wit's End and Thornmail. Vitsend works really well against magic damage and it makes your auto attacks faster, which is amazing with your Q because now you can proc your free Qs really fast. Thornmail is good against armor because it gives you more armor, it gives you more health, and often you're going to have a Bramble Vest or you want one anyways because you can force people to hit you by taunting them. Shen's abilities. Your passive is a shield that shields you every time you use an ability. Your Q does a little bit of extra damage in your auto attacks when you use it. If your sword goes through an enemy champion, you do a lot of damage to your auto attacks. Your W is a zone that blocks auto attacks whenever you're in it for two seconds. You have to activate it while standing near your sword, else it doesn't work. And it only gets activated if you're near it. It also blocks uh, auto attacks from your allied champions. Your E is a dash. You dash towards an enemy. If you hit them, you do damage and you taunt them for one and a half second. And then your ultimate is stand united, which is a shield on your allied champions, depending on the missing health. And after three seconds, you teleport onto them. Shen's skill order. Shen is pretty similar to his skill order. You always want to make Q over E over W. The way you skill them is by going Q level one, unless you're team fighting level one, where you want to get a kill, then you can skill E. And then after that, you skill W or E, depending on if you're against melee champions or ranged champions. E is for ranged and W is for melee, because against melee champions, you can use your W and they can't auto attack you anymore, which is very good for trading. You can also skill E against melee champions early if you're expecting gank from your jungle or if you're expecting to get ganked. All right, so let's talk a little bit about combos, guys. Combos and Shen are very simple. The first thing you want to do is your Q, then auto, auto, auto. That's a very simple combo. That's what you generally do in laning phase when you trade. You can also use your W when you do it. So you Q, auto, then he orders you. Like now this guy doesn't order me back, but the second he orders you, you W. You try and time it with his auto attack so you get more value out of your W. Then the second combo I think is really important to know is the flash taunt and then just Q and then just order it down. Very simple. The W is mainly when the enemy auto attack starts, you click it. You don't want to waste it. And the E flash, very simple. So, Shen is different from every other champion in the aspect that you need to focus on being all over the map at all times. So I think key binding is very important, that's why I'm going to put this in here. Um, your F keys are extremely important, but I think F keys are terrible to click on your keyboard, so I rebound mine. What I have is set X, C, and V to target my allies, and then I have spacebar to target myself. You can keep this one as well if you want, on Z or whatever you want. Um, I just think this is very valuable, because by being able to look around the map very quickly without losing your focus it helps you be able to do good ultimates and quick ultimates as well which adds a lot of skill to the game and which is going to get you a lot of elo so you want to have good key bindings so you should maybe copy mine you can also make your own just make sure they're easy to click and they you can click them consistently without it fucking up your lane first i want to just go through the laning trading patterns and one thing you want to do is if you have a matchup like jacks versus shen where you can easily win it then you want to get your sword up as fast as possible you put your sword behind him this is the number one rule of the training pattern always put the sword behind him now your goal is to slowly push in so i push the minions a little bit but i don't do it too hard now i have the sword behind him so i'm walking up and then i'm baiting out his e now the fact that he doesn't have e anymore means i have full control he can't ever trade with me for the next 10 seconds he's useless i think it's 16 or 18 seconds in his e cooldown so now i can just keep hitting him and using my grasp your number one rule of thought is to try and get the sword behind him, move it up at all times, and proc your grasp. 
Those are the two things you want to do. You really need to proc grasp as much as possible. And you can see how I'm just always walking up to him. I don't want to taunt him when he's expecting it, because then he can eat it, and then he can just avoid a lot of damage. So I'm just walking back and forth, chilling here, and then I taunt randomly, then I expect him not to see it. Sadly, he saw it here, but then on the day, he's taunt is down again, and I keep pressing, and I lost nothing for this. Another grass proc, keep doing this. And this is how you generally win your lane. What you want to try and do is push the third wave in like this. You have to push the two first a little bit, and then you hard shove the third one. On the third one, you do want to get a ward in case you're going to gang, and then you should have a good opportunity. Now, I showed you guys the importance of the combos earlier. There's not that many chain combos that you need to know, but this is an important one. So the flash, or the taunt flash is really important. So you can see here I'm trying to damage him low, and just get the little bit of last damage on him. Now he's really low on health. He still have his E ability up, and I know this, and he knows that too. So what I do is I damage him, I walk backwards a little bit, because now he's not going to expect me to go for him, and then I flash taunt into him, and that's an instant kill. He can't do anything to react to it. It's almost impossible. 